what about generational curses? Or put another way, can a generational curse uh, stop somebody from being healed? Okay, now the short answer to that is don't go there. Jesus has paid for all afflictions. He became a curse for us, Galatians 3.13. And we are not supposed to look back into the past, Philippians 3.13. It doesn't matter how a person became afflicted. The fact of the matter is, is that Jesus has paid in full for that so that they have every right to be healed and healthy. So next time that you hear about a generational curse or whatever, proclaim the opposite. Proclaim blessings over the person and say that in the name of Jesus there is to be no curse and that the person shall be healed and whole and healthy. There's a no need to go back into their past and no need to agonize over things that uh, uh, you know might have been inherited from their parents, learned from their parents, or whatever. Uh, the, there are some Old Testament scriptures that are being taken out of context. And uh, in fact, in Ezekiel, it even goes into, well, why, why do you say this you know, proverb uh, anymore? You're not going to say that anymore. You can read those scriptures uh, that you see on the screen, uh, but the bottom line is, is that we are ministers of reconciliation and we speak blessings and uh, we don't just uh, uh, settle for any kind of uh, curse that there might be.